everybody, welcome back to Rusty Gears Season 3 on the Rusty Gears server, Episode 26 with me, Sid. I am in my kitchen down in the southern base. Uh, I've made some progress, it's not anywhere near finished. But um, yeah, my progress involves, well, we got this done last episode, we got all of those. That should be the last of my bush meat, which is obviously not very good, but um, I killed them, I figure. I figure I at least deserve, or they at least deserve to live, you know. And uh, I've put some barrels in here to make a little, like, um, kitchen dresser style unit, you know. Um, it's not a dresser, I was trying to sideboard, that's what we would have called them in my uh, grandma's house. We've got some red currant syrup, which has got 21.8 years of things. We've got maple syrup in here. I've made myself an iron rolling pin. We've got those. Uh, this is obviously where I'm dumping a lot of stuff currently. These, these require a top. I made these and then you actually have to put a top on them. Uh, cooking pot there, uh, yeah, mixing bowl, some flowers on the floor. I've put some of these under the stairs, so these are going to become bulk storage. Not done a huge amount there. Brought me boxes down and we have... On this floor, I've put a banister, which I quite like. It's not perfect because it, it's, you know, I had to put like an odd thing here. We're going to we're going to chisel in a double bed canopy around this. This the bedroom is going to be our next next piece of work. And uh, I have I should really eat those first. I think. Let me just sort myself out. Because that's got 18 days and they've got only... Well, actually they've got more because, yeah, but magic stuff. Um, all of the interior blocks have been chiseled smooth. And then I made a start on the stuff out here. But still need more to do there, there, and there specifically. And maybe there. And um, and even technically speaking, back here. Although I could just chisel those flat and put a a block. But then, what would be the point of having them? Because they're hidden on the inside as well. So, good point. Well done, me. Thank you for noticing that. Anyway, um, we are going to go on a journey. I would like to find one of the rarest trees in vintage story now i've already found one of the the other rarest tree in vintage story which is ebony uh, and that was largely thanks to uh sheena's base down here this the roof is slowly growing up it's getting bigger i don't know whether it's, is he going to do a double maybe he's going to do a double like a factory roof on that um but yeah, growing, growing. Uh, not entirely sure what this is. Feel like you might be putting a toll. Uh, <laughs> probably not. There is a, a bit of stuttering, and we do sometimes when we come into the spawn area. I tend to find that there is a certain amount of lag, uh, and I think it is partially due to these little buggers. Now, I managed round here to sort them out with so, by virtue of some spikes. But they they do spawn a lot. There's um, you know, a lot of animals over and around and every now and again I'll go lag busting. Uh, and when I say lag busting, what I actually mean is exterminating. Um, so over this side, for example, there's a sheep and uh, there's a fox and a sheep in there there's some animals starting over here but when you get over here the the animals are particularly uh sp spawny <laughs> there's a lot of them uh, and entities have oh hello don't spoil it let's not let's not spoil andy's surprise um so yeah that's um stuff going on around here i did want to just double check while i was flying around what was my pineapples doing there at stage that i've got a feeling that these will not grow up here but they won't have time my cassava plants are ripe and my so everything else over here is ripe we can harvest that at some point maybe not today uh 
animals wise I'm not worried too much we are going to teleport to the south now I am going to use my flight a little bit because to, to be quite frank I, I have a already explored quite a bit of this area there I should have brought some um, things shouldn't I that's heading north uh, there is a ruin there that I've not explored that one I thought I'd raided maybe there's still a little bit left there that's the big uh, big one like we did with Gran uh, that's a ruin there but what we are looking for well let me so these are acacia and when you find acacia that is where you're going to find ebony uh, I'll leave that one I've got a fair bit of ebony but we need kapok and when you find kapok that is where you're going to find the other tree now I am hunting around for anything that looks out of place these are all kapok and it would be just my luck to go oh look there's one bang um, but we might not be that lucky because it is very rare by all accounts uh, that's kapok so we are going to continue hunting around your kapok aren't you yes sounds like a Kapok, 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 Kapok. I mean, these are all Kapok. That's all acacia around the edge there. Kapok, Kapok, Kapok. It's all bloody Kapok. We'll find one. If I don't find one in this batch, we'll just continue looking. Um, there is a reason I want this as well but um, and I haven't told you what I'm looking for well if you play Vintage Story you almost certainly know what I'm looking for and if you know me you'll know or have a clue at what I'm kind of looking for this is all K-Park Come on. I don't know whether it's a big tree or a small tree. Uh, all I know is if you find Kapok and that's where if you're gonna find it it's gonna be there. Hmm. Okay, I am going to have to keep hunting and I will be back with you shortly. Alright. I've actually found it. Um, it wasn't too bad. It was actually, oops, hello, map, in an area that I have explored before. It's over here now, I think, because the spawning conditions for this tree are very wet areas. Um, and I think that the, the very wet areas, if I can find another one, are highlighted by this kind of dark green. Now we are in a very dark green area and if we go down here you'll see there's a kapok. That one's a kapok. That's a kapok. Lots of kapok. Kapok, kapok, kapok everywhere. But over here, well that is a kapok. But this one, which looks very suspicious, is not. That is a purple heart. That's what I'm looking for. Um, now I am going to grab my shears because I would like if I can get the leaf drop rate on these is not great so we're, we're going to have to not a leaf the seed the seed drop rate so I am going to very carefully shear as much leaf away without letting any if I can despawn um, to maximize my seedy chance because 
I would rather like a purple heart seed. I may not get a purple heart seed. But it's worth a try. And now I know the kind of the spawning conditions we're looking at. I can be a little more aggressive about it. Um, I don't need a lot of this. I'll be honest. But... Rare is always good. So I am going to double bubble check that I've got all of that. I got 25 logs of purple heart. And, uh, hello. I just managed to click off the screen there. Um, I am going to just, I think while we're down this way let me just have a look where am I I'm here that was uh, anthracite uh, there's a green foot there and there both high rainfall areas that might be a high rainfall area maybe not as high as this um, but there's whole areas up here that are looking like a higher rainfall we can double check that to see whether I completed it so let me let me just do a whiz over that direction and it will be a whiz I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fly I'm, I'm not that fond of walking and uh, I'll see you when I'm back in a moment well this is a nice little find um, I did pass this ruin here but it's one of the it's fairly basic vanilla ruin there's a trader there which we can go and see who he he, he is uh, that is forage not interested that is just stuff however it's got one of the things I like in the world which is oh it's got a seed vessel as well it's, eh onions not not actually that great okay uh, it's usually looking for seeds I haven't got, but we do have pipes, 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 more pipes, I see pipes, 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 and pipes, which, again, for many people would be considered, you know, a fairly dull little uh, win there but for me that was a uh, uh, yeah let's see oh I didn't get it anyway that's fine so that's that it was just a little ruin nothing major again I like to map my conquests so we'll uh, We'll put that away. Actually, better put that away as well, just in case. I'd hate to lose it. And let's get ourselves in the air. There's a trader there. The other thing I like doing, the, the what? One of the things, what was that I saw there? Just a thing. One of the things I find, and I can't resist, to be honest, this is a thing. Let me just deal with this trader. Let me get him mapped. He's a survival goods trader. What have you got, mate? Uh, Blackburn Spears. Yeah. Yeah, nothing I really want. Okay. So my, my, my weakness, my, my big weakness is this. I can't resist flying into a hole. <laughs> um, I mean, this one was you know disappointing 
But that's fine, because I'm sure if we were to fly around over here a wee bit, we'll find more caves with more entertaining features than that one had. And you can end up getting some really, really good. Now, I want to mention something about because in the early days, I say that you can't beat walking. Uh, and that is true. Walking around, hunting for resources will find you more resources than ever. But right now, I have more copper than I can use have more certainly more meteoric iron than I can use um, so hunting for you know big that big strike in ores or whatever not actually that important and usually these ones on the surface tend towards the poor anyway so the the statement that flying you're going to miss resources becomes less are they baby are they hyena pups or are they wolf pups it's a hyena pup Looks very much like a wolf pup to me, but there you go. So yeah, um, that that kind of yeah. I, I should think with it. I think I think walking will give you a much more solid sense of achievement. You know, you you walk there. You've you've fought Mr. Hyena here. Um, but look how many there are. I mean. There's a serious, serious amount of hyenas about here. Now, that's just had a quick whiz, whiz squiz around there. I don't know what those red things are. I'm not overly worried. Uh, what I do want to do is continue this way. Uh, and then head over here. So I'll be back in a moment. Now, I mentioned that I can't resist throwing myself into a cave. And... Uh, and there is a reason for that. So this is under the mountain range and... Whoop, hello. This is not a brilliant ruin, but you know. you i say not a brilliant ruin the, the these are fairly common uh, and the the stuff you get out of them is fairly common so you know let's not expect too much but um and let's pop One break. I appear to have lost the thing. Okay, well, this is a bit of a noble sash, some torches. I've got those. That's thing. Usually there's a bit of quartz there, some smoky quartz crystals, a bit of blue grey clay, and then all of this stuff, which in all honesty, I have got multiple copies of this. Might take the tapestry. And we'll have the painting. So, and maybe the... <laughs> this is, a, oh, hello. This is this is me to a pit tea, by the way. This is how, how my mind works. So, where is my fourth spear? There. Okay. All right. Well, don't question it so throw a little bit of that guard a little bit of those some of that in there you can have that you can have the torches you can have that one everything else
Uh, what about anything else? Is there anything else? Urgh, we could get rid of those sticks in favour of Matt. Matt, stick, sticks, Matt, don't really know. Uh, oak, acacia. Am I that attached to anything? Not really. I've, well, you know what? We can we can carry that. And we'll have that just because it'd be wrong not to. I think pretty much everything else I've got loads of, so we shall get out and hey hello it's raining drifters but yeah there's um just something about throwing yourself not oh, there another is it the same it's the same one okay that's fine it's the only drawback of course But, oh, hello. Oh, crap. That is not what we wanted. Where is it? I know we need to get out of here. There's a bell and I can't see it. That is not a good combination. Um, I've got all my weapons, so let's just... I don't mind bells if, well, I mean, I don't mind them if I can see them, but uh, if you can't see them, but you can find some amazing, amazing caves just by throwing yourself down into a hole. Um, and I realise again that sounds terrible. Um, however, we do need to uh, just clear. Don't really need that either. Right. However, this is not getting me anywhere. Let's, um, oh, those hyena pups are so cute. Um, let's see where we are. Let's again, we've got a map. That's a trader. That's a small ruin up there, very small. This, oh, hang on. Hang on a second. This, this looks interestingly interesting and again i don't think i would want to even try this um without the angel belt <laughs> because now what are you you are just a small ruin or oh, with you're just an old well okay well, interesting ruin for flavour, but um, can't say it's that interesting for anything else. Nothing screaming at me from here. That might be something hard to tell. That's a cave. Let's continue back down towards the big ruin and see what we got. And then we'll try and actually go and do some building today. I can't, can't spend all day playing around. Well, I can and often do. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you in a moment. I think it's fairly safe to say I did a reasonable job of clearing this out because <laughs> I've taken half of the uh, walls. Um, yeah, I suppose we could take that little watering can. Actually, we will have that and that because why not? Uh, and see if I can get the washboard. No, what about the bucket? No. Um, you better slow down my flight. But yeah, this. This one I have done, I did, and I cleared out fairly thoroughly, I feel. Can't get those. Um, get the spire, if I wanted. Could be getting those, but again, I don't really need them. 
and I think I have pretty much looted this out he says probably picking up something I didn't want um, so that one is definitely clear and uh, didn't I have I think I think these are all done I don't think there's anything exciting left to do up here <laughs> um, however I I'm gonna head back to the boat from here which is that way and um, we'll head back to my home and uh, we'll get to put some of this stuff to good use so I'll be back in a moment while we're at spawn we might as well see what Candy's been up to in the uh, in the kitchen uh, those are pies by I think if they're yeah those are pies by me so that's yeah I'll trample all over them there's some uh, bread some syrup covered fruit bread that's delicious oh we'll call this look at this food uh, and there's some serious durability on it I'd l one day I will learn how to uh, do this I'm having that mm, no um, and then there's this gosnaki and sweetened gosnaki I don't know what that is some kind of candy I believe and and stuff now I'm still carrying a couple of those so what are they well, and they've got 51 to, I actually didn't do a bad job of those did I <laughs> um, hmm. I haven't got oh I got a purple heart seed I didn't realize um, yeah I found a second purple heart and chopped it down uh, and did all the seeds and everything so uh, that was a bonus let me just go and clear my it's been a while since you've actually shown you inside the uh, inside one man's trash and it is starting to come together but I do need to have a sesh so this bit down here is nice and we've got shelves I need a label on that that's the tables thing as we know that's the stufa this is more chests more crates uh, and beds anything to do with bedding and then I've got, and I've sorted most of the things. So all of the items in here I want, except maybe that rug, which if I can find a location for the rugs, we can throw you in. That goes upstairs and we'll just get our, our, our bits and pieces in here because that goes in. I'm going to grab our pipes. Pipes are going into pipe chest. I do have plans for the pipes. Um, they're very loose at the moment, but I want to build something industrial looking. Uh, tapestries and pictures. Tapestries. Boop, boop. I uh, haven't got room for those. Pictures. Boop. Those tapestries can go in there. Uh, we'll stick the watering can in there as well. Everything else is a keep keeps except for that uh, and everything else goes to the uh, thing and I don't know whether I've got any space in the clothing chest. I don't appear to have any space in the clothing chest so which is su surprising but it doesn't matter. Right. To the desert. All right, we're well, we're here now. Let's start off with. A nice little uh, planter. And uh, maybe we can even stick a. Nope, won't place on that. That's a shame. Uh, well, we can stick you there for now with with your bush in yeah. definitely need to get more color on here so we're definitely going to have a load of furniture uh, this this area is going to be 
sorted. We've got our purple heart seed. I did bring these and that will become apparent. We're going to go and activate that to a transport to translocator. I will keep wanting to say telepose and that as I know that's wrong because that is the name of the uh, device we use. I've only got two. Wow. I know I've got oak, which is there. And I know I have got a saw, which is there. Let me do some of this purple heart. Actually, let me just have a look at you. So I can, sh you can be, oh, that might work. Problem is it's gonna have, uh, now if I were to go here, can I, and if I were to go back all the way and go in here and just have a look for the word purple, what else can I make? I can make purple shingles, which is got to be the coolest thing ever. We can make purple clay tiles and that is made with purple hardened clay. Purple hardened clay is made by eight pieces baked into one and we make, how do we make you again? Vermilion, ultramarine, lapis and cinnabar with the two clays makes eight. I can actually make that. But I can make purple in a barrel by mixing blue dye and vermilion to make two liters. Woad blue dye. Or blue dye and blue dye can be made how? Cornflour, nickel, ultramarine. All of that's doable. Let's just have a quick peek at what we can do with this lot first. Boom. Right. Hmm. And um, so let me just drop off that lot. And let's go up here. And start off with That which we are going to craft into you. Shame isn't going up right. Now, what happens if I were to do you as then it runs up right? All right, that's fine. And actually has an interesting pattern to it. So let's start off with four of those. And get me chisel going. That's fine actually, I don't need to worry about that too much. That's suitable, I think that's okay. Alright, pantograph, pant, pant, uh, pantograph. Pantograph. 
and then get you into a rotation. No. That works, and then we can do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I don't like these beds which are too shallow. Right, pantograph. that but then then we need and this is where chiseling comes in handy no oh, not like that it doesn't then we're going to Do this, not that, but this. And get a frame going. So once we've got that, we can then take some of you and this is where I think it's not going to look right. So if I go in there and add that to it. And then do. This kind of thing. Coming down. And then we can kind of sweep that back. Does that work as fabric? Or do I want to try something more in the solid colour? A little bit me wants to try the solid colour, but a little bit of me wants to try this, this kind of fabric-y... Um, the question is, how do, how how tight do I sweep this? Well, I can't take ring it. Obviously, I need another block there. But again, you can really get this some give it. I actually think the purple heart is going to work. Um, it's just going to take. A little bit of effort to chisel the shape in. And bring it down. Kind of like that. Right, let me do some work and I shall be back in a moment. All right, I'm not going to get this done today. This is way more chiseling than I'm, I want to do. And there's one thing or the other thing I want to do today as well. Um, so let me just show you what we've got so far, which is a frame. 
uh, and some curtain and I'm going to do a curtain here and here with a similar thing I'm just using slate as a metal like hook and my curtain there and what that will mean is I can walk on from this block because what I don't want to do is get trapped in there I'm not going to bother with the top although technically I suppose I should I, mean, I could quite easily drape a top across um, not sure I'll decide on that one however let me just start a Start that, that's uh, probably as good a thing as any. What I do want to do is um, finish up by opening up one of the two um, translocators. Let me get the right name every time. Eventually, because we've got one here and we have got one there. And then there's a one up there. Yeah, you know, so I brought. I've got three gears. I've got. I think I've got everything I need to do this. So let us head down and see where this one takes us. So it is warping space time. Hello. It's still warping space time. And basically that means it's looking for a, a, a twin to this one. And we'll see what we get. Ooh. Excuse me. I'm busy. And you are just being rude. Still warping space time. Obviously struggling to. And there we go. So I can also get that as a screenshot. It gives me two options, doesn't it? Let's see what we get. Ooh. We're in the middle of an ocean, which is not ideal. Hmm. Okay. Ow. Stop that. Again, not the best thing to find. A few bits and pieces, but we'll worry about that later. What's more important is where am I uh, in relation... Well, let's just tidy. I hate... I hate these cluttered areas. A few gears... broken anvil that if we clever I don't know if want manganese I'll have to check what that's used for but so clever is doing that so now nothing can get to us and This will give us a... Now, where actually am I? Wow, I'm actually a lot further away than I thought I was going to be. And we didn't have to... Oh, hang on. I do have to do one thing, though. Uh, let's use that. Damn it, too soon. 
I I was premature. Right, so what we're going to do is we are going to stick in a green translocator here. So that will open that up nicely. And it doesn't really matter now because we just head out. We're we were quite deep in the ocean actually. And we are not really near anything. That that's a different translocator brings us in that way. So Oh, it's my shadow. Uh, let's just take a quick fly this way and see where the first... Here we go, bit of land. Not a lot of land. Bit of bauxite there, which is nice. Let's have a look what we got going on. So then we've got Quite a lot more land here, but still not a huge amount, just a thing, this. Was looking like it could have got interesting, but let us down. Just, just let me down so badly. Uh, however, that might not, no, uh, you just let me down again. Shale. After all the fun and games I had hunting for that last uh, oh, last couple of episodes. I haven't really had a chance to figure out which road won, by the way. and it, 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 There wasn't a huge amount and everybody liked a different one. So it's one of those... Um, one of those issues where... I think I'm just going to have to choose. <laughs> Um, okay, let's drop down to two and let's have a look at the map now. So we are here, not a huge amount of anything to show for our troubles over this way. Some gravel, uh, a few caves, a few more caves, Terra Preta, oh, my, yeah, you know what, I'm having it. Uh, I mean something to show for my effort. Gib. Right. Um, I mean, there might be some interesting cave systems down here, so I suppose it's, you know. It's all going to be subjective, isn't it, really? Oh, and box, uh, box height, which is handy. Although not something we're desperately without now. Oh, hello. Quite a few friends down there. Now, I need to figure out how I... Ow. What's that? I think I came down here, didn't I? Yeah, quite a few friends, in fact. Still, I mean, you know, hello. Like, we are out in a different area of the world, um, which may or may not have been explored. <laughs> this is the this is the quandary. Has this been explored before? Is this a new thing? You know, again, nice little cave. Sometimes I've found that you can go use... Oh. 
this is always a nice little ruin as well for for stuff um not so bothered about i mean the chains are always handy um and there's usually a few bits and pieces of good stuff to be had and then there's usually a little bit more floating around in the various places so want to loot um i wonder whether it's worth looting now ah go on well we'll loot it quickly and then we'll get we'll think we'll probably call it at this one because there's uh, that's a tree i think there's not a huge amount of this so let me loot i'll be back in a moment all right just like that we looted it um uh, i'm carrying the box though so i need to work out where i am and more importantly where my exit is back over that way okay um yeah so the i think realistically opening up the um translocators in and around base i will do the two that are close to my own base just because we might as well um but i think the act of actually opening them up um in my base is largely let me just get a little bit of a wiggle on largely pointless because i think most of the good ones will have been opened already um so we'll end up with these odd little places very close to areas we've already explored um you know which that's fine but gears are not that common that um, here we go right we need to find this is this is where it's going to get a bit challenging yeah, there we, well all right this is where it's going to get not challenging at all uh Plus we just get on and poof and then we're out again uh, in fact we do need to where am I I'm here uh, that one there that one is now green we have opened it so there's one there there's there's about four which are close by that I'm aware of. There's another one over there, which is not that close. Um, and then we're into silly stuff. But the point being is if we were to come zoom right out of our map and we come down this direction and we go to this translocator here, for example, where does that go? Well, the odds are it's going to go somewhere considerably further away. That one probably that way um much more practical i think usage that's not my home uh flying in the dark is absolutely terrifying but um yeah i think that's kind of enough random waffling and wandering around we got a little bit done i will continue working on my um, I'll just pop that down there for now. I'll continue working on the bed uh, between episodes and also the chiseling for this lot out here. Um, you know, that that's a new shape. I've thrown in some gravel, so is it kind of given the idea of a powdered? This needs a little bit of work. We obviously need to go three-dimensional. I need to decide what the hell I'm doing with this uh we need to do all of that we need to do all of the brick work on this side this side is done and we still need to do the or finish off the 3d work on there 
And then, of course, there's the 3D work on the these around here. So this there's a fair amount to do, and uh, but we're getting there steadily, bit by bit, blow by blow. And uh, yeah, you know, there's some stuff which we can use around the kitchen. I'm happy with this kitchen. It's starting to get there. Uh, we've got all the, I think we've got all the utensils now. Uh, I'm sure someone will tell me if I haven't. But until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.